Alpha Dog from 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie Christopher Larimer. Shout out to him for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Alpha Dog, I believe this is like a crime thriller drama style movie, which if you guys have been watching the channel for a minute, you guys know crime thriller type movies are my favorite man or some of my favorite i don't know if i would say it's number one it changes day to day you know i mean we start to get into fall season you know maybe it goes up on the list a little bit but you know i love zodiac it was fucking fantastic prisoners absolutely amazing i don't expect us to be like those necessarily but those are the kind of you know crime thriller categories movies i think of when i start to think of these uh this type of genre dude so hopefully y'all enjoy this so guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do ask if you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction it'll be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie Justin Timberlake, Bruce Willis. We find out. Okay, couple of couple of familiar names. Dude, seeing this reminds me of the old days, man. The old home video footage and shit. Like just the way the film looks so grainy and stuff is nostalgic. You want to know what this is all about? You can say it's about drugs or man himself. That's all I have to say about that subject. Next question. Hmm. I'm a taxpayer and I'm a citizen. And you are a jerk off. Did I tell you that? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's a little weed. Kind of is a drug dealer, but just not, you know, you say drug dealer, you think all this other shit. I mean, technically. Or better yet, pick up all the dog shit in the backyard. And if you finish too fast, dump it out and pick it back up, up again. again. Yep. Assholes, man. Owner, I'm assuming one of these, the shit we saw at the start with Bruce Willis was probably a flash forward, right? Maybe, maybe not. On Friday night? Honey? I know. I know. Don't make me wonder about you, kids. You sound like half a fucking bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay, remember what I told you. Men are not supposed to be monopolists. It's in our nature to spread the seed. <laughs> Wait, come on. Come on. Angela's a nice girl and all, but you got to plow some fucking fields. You hear me? <laughs> Fruitcake. Dude's loyal. Good looking pit. So his dad is supplying him. Interesting. This is how they do the drop. Oh, shit. Okay, well, page me later. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love you. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, I get it, dude. Can't keep bailing them out all the time. Hey. Fuck ass bitches. Better sleep. <laughs> These motherfuckers are shooting our music video, dog. Hmm? I almost want that shit. No. Hold on now. Throw that man in the Olympics. If he asked you to suck his cock, you probably would. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. Bro, this is about to go bad. You can already tell these divides before shit goes downhill. It's gonna come out, Elvis. <laughs> you're gonna come out, Elvis. That you're fucking gay. What up, Jake? You gotta start calling him, motherfucker. This is who he owes money, huh? Careful, Johnny. I'm not fucking Elvis. Yeah, well, you short asshole. Watch your fucking mouth, you little fucking midget. I'm not one. I'm not one of your little faggot friends. Oh shit. Give me my fucking money. You for me, huh? You fucking cool. Oh shit. Damn, there come his dog. Get this fucking bitch off! Come here, get this fucking seven, man! Get the fuck off, bitch! You think you're messing with me? Oh, bro, he going for the strap. You saw him running. Fucking walk. Come on, let's go. 
Whoa! <laughs> Dude's like, finally some shit happened. Fuck me. Motherfucker egging everybody on, dude. <laughs> Literally. You know, I'd trade you. Just gotta get out. That's what he's saying now. You don't know how lucky he is to have a loving home. <laughs> Look at the fucking Hitler poster, bro. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. You gotta go. You gonna show up. <laughs> hey, he whipping that thing, though. Dude does not give a fuck. <laughs> balls are all wrinkled up. <laughs> you know she gotta hate that shit, bro. You, I'm right here. Don't look at me that way. I'm telling you the fucking truth. Mm -hmm. Totally fucking straight, man. Look at his pupils. Dude is relentless. Hey, fuck out of here. I will take you down to fucking hell with me. I will take you down to hell with me. Jesus, man. Literally just somebody destroying their life. Fuck, man. Retaliation. Oh, shit. He coming straight for Johnny. Go back! Johnny! Jake! Trula! Ugh, that was close, bro. This is about to just shit on his floor, man. Oh my god. What the fuck? Bro, saw him. These two fucking hats. Too many assholes know where I live. You see this? They don't feel safe. Zerski took a sideways shit on the living room carpet. What? Where? Right here. On the wet spot. Yeah. <laughs> what does motherfucker wipe his ass with? His hand? Yeah. I don't know, fucko. I told you I wasn't here. Whatever that. He was scared, man. Get finished. I'll, I'll, I'll cruise down there. Yeah, maybe you can blow me. <laughs> Fuck you, dick. I want to come. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you get the shit smell out of the carpet. It's fucked up, man. They treat him like just like shit, man. <laughs> Dad, I, I just fucking woke up. God damn it. Let me put some fucking clothes on. God fucking dick. Zero control. Thing is, bro, you try and be too strict. Day one. You try and be too strict. You know what I mean? You push them away, but you're not strict enough. They end up in a shitty life. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fucked. Pain for his brother's sins, man. Dude literally just left him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back there, man. You want me to go check it out? Yeah, I mean, four dudes I've never met are in my fucking bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Right dudes out there torturing him. Witnesses. Yeah, all the shit's coming back, dude. He's gonna end up being killed, huh? Man, are you nuts? You, you can't do that. Witness number six. And when I get back, none of you motherfuckers better be here. Let's get out of here, girls. Come on, let's go. Dude, always using the gun, man, but he's scared to shoot. Got a Trojan poster in the back. <laughs> Where are 
are you going? He's going to find him. Hey, Tech Nine, hold on now. I hear it. Damn. Hold on. My man can scrap. I know he was like that. He ended up coming to Fiesta with him. Damn. Fuck off me, man. I'm gonna get a beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. Right. Dude's having the time of his life being kidnapped, man. Cigarette? No, I, I don't smoke. Fuck that. It's good for you. Uh, this is how you get in the life, too, man. Little bit by little bit. Not only that, but the dude just doesn't want to go home. Frankie. <laughs> Witness seven, eight, and nine. Bro, he's gonna end up getting killed, huh? Zach. Hey, Rat. Well, you work All right, here. fuck. Get out of my room. Nice fucking mouth. It's a nice ass house, though. Grows everything we eat right here: tomatoes, cucumbers, corn. Dude's living the life. Oh yeah. Look at this shit right here. Oh. Damn. Throw a little eggshells on him every now and then. Helps. Yeah, right. Well, fuck it. Let's get to work. Bro, this will actually be a vibe. Like, outside even just the weed plants and stuff, man. It's the ultimate goal, man. Living off living off your own stuff. Living off the land, man. Like, everybody should have at least a small little garden. Hey, yo. Yo, young blood. Come here, man. Witnesses 10, 11, and 12. It's your phone. No. No, go ahead. It's your phone. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. What game are they even playing? Looked like a whole ass cutscene. Chill out, dog. All right, all right, I'll clear. Johnny always pissed, man. Chill out. Yeah, this is fucking wrong. Doesn't anybody else think that this is fucking wrong? Susan, take the fucking volume, okay? It's not even any of your business. Not in my house. Dude. Dude's got Stockholm syndrome at this point, man. He just wanted to be out, though, you know. It's the biggest fucking joint anyone's ever seen. Down with that, Zach. Absolutely. Dude's just trying to live life a little bit. Meanwhile, everybody else is fucking freaking out. This is all going to come full circle, man. That's why we keep seeing witness number 10, 11, 12, whatever it is. I just hope he don't end up dead. That's what it seems like it's going toward, man. Take a kid and have no one notice. That's what I told you. Didn't I say... Dude didn't process it. What do we do? I don't know. There's an answer here. There's like a solution, but I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. Let the kid go. He's not going to say nothing. What? Fuck. Hypothetically, all right? This isn't real, all right? We're just talking here. Oh, shit. But, um... What would you say if I were to offer you $2,500 just to kill the kid? 2500 That's it? I'm not going to fucking kill the kid. That's a fucking joke, right? Of course it's a fucking joke, man. You're so... Dude, just putting out feelers. Nah, if he said yeah, he 100% would have had him do it. Done. See, that's what I love about you, man. You're smarter than me. I don't know, bro. I don't know if I trust him. I feel like you're going to end up killing him. I, did, it, I got that feeling. We'll all be over by tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, man. Shit, on the other hand, too, his brother, you know, Jake might just end up doing some off the wall shit and getting him killed. Talk. Talk? Well, now? <laughs> kind of. You celebrating her anniversary. <laughs> the whole fucking year to make love to your father and you won't even give that to me. Mom. I'm exing right now. I can't understand anything. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Fuck. Okay. She wanted to talk and tell him what went on, right, with the kid? Oh, fuck. Don't threaten me. Fuck that. It's a promise. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'm going to hunt you down. Off the wall shit. The cops find you before I do. Get on your cock, suck your knees, and pray. Bro, everybody downstairs hearing this shit, I bet. Hello? Hello? Dude, tried to straighten it out, man. He's going to end up going the killing route. Fuck. Oh, no. All right, man. I'll call you when I get straight. Kids, 
going home. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, man. This sucks, too, bro, because, like, in the end, he's not even getting his money from Jake, so he snatched the kid for no reason. <laughs> hey, Laura, the kids have a good time. Witness 13, man. Damn, that's foul. <laughs> Is that guy giving you a problem? Yeah, why? Let's kick his ass. It. All of a sudden, you're a tough guy. I can fight a fucking black belt in Taekwondo. Just like his brother, huh? Shut the fuck up. Your ass. I am. I got picked the wrong way. No shit. Just like his brother, huh? Come on, bitch. How's that feel? You're dead. Dude needs space. That ain't no Taekwondo. <laughs> oh shit. This little bitch can fight. Oh fuck. It's my birthday. <laughs> birthday girl. Can you guys give us a second? Why? I need to talk to you about something on private. Hurry. Oh fuck. He's gonna have him do it. Right. Fuck it. Oh shit. I got gas. Damn, dude. Okay then. I mean, bro, like, you didn't even have to go this route, man. You know what I mean? Like, one, you're not getting the money from Jake or anything. Two, the kid wasn't going to say nothing, but I get they're scared more so now of the retaliation from Jake and stuff, too. Turn around. I get it. Just turn around. Oh, shit. Unless they're using them to lure him, right? Dude's gonna be end up being dead right after all this too. <laughs> Meanwhile, they trying to act like nothing's even going on. No, why? <laughs> Bad. You're going to call his boy, see if it's done. You, Johnny sent me here to take care of something, and I'm gonna fucking do it Dude. with you or through you. Dude's been waiting all movie f for this. Do you want me to do it? Dude, it's so fucked. Shoot me right fucking here. I don't give a fuck. Damn, man. Where's Frankie? I, I need a ride home. Dude. It's, oh my God. It's like, bro, and this was all pointless too, man, because this led to nothing. You know what I mean? Him dying is completely pointless. Nothing gets resolved. Nothing got resolved. They got him. They they, they got him to use him as leverage. <laughs> Dude, so young and innocent, man. We're done. No. And you tell us your plan, Einstein. You tell us how this all turns out. Fuck. But he's looking at life. Life life we talked to a lawyer man just trying to scare him man i mean if you get your story straight and he hides it you know what i mean then the only person you got to worry about is jake he's just too much of a liability think about it we send the kid home you got jake looking for you you don't want that even if you don't he's still gonna be looking we don't have a choice man That's what they're trying to make it seem like, but you really do. Fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah like Julie. Shit. They probably ain't got cell service out here either, so even if Johnny tries to call him. Johnny, call it off. Nothing's gonna happen. These guys are such fuck ups. Kids probably loose right now. Make the fucking call. Not gonna have service, man. He, Elvis is, is the one dude who's gonna do it. 
He still doesn't get it. Fuck, dude, this is just tragic as hell. Hi. Hi. More witnesses. Thirty-seven and thirty-eight. Look, little man, you gotta yeah. calm down, all right? Okay. Boogie. Everybody's nervous, yeah. all right? <laughs> Shh. Okay. Okay. He's gonna shoot him. What the fuck are you doing? It was six o'clock in the morning. Holy shit. Got killed, murdered. <sighs> I happen to know he owes $50,000 to one drug dealer. 50K? My natural death. <laughs> I don't know. You know, all three times. Three. I tried to commit suicide. There was alcohol involved. When I tried to kill myself in the hospital, is that okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Can't believe they actually did that shit, man. Of course, Elvis the one was the one to do it too. It's fucking insane. And all the witnesses, right? Thirty something people. Nobody believed anything would actually happen. Okay, I dropped him off in Pomona. You better get yourself a good lawyer. You're going to be the first one to go to the cops, huh? Please! Look, man, I love you, but you're on your own. Yeah. Get what this motherfucker deserves, bro. Get Johnny in there, too. Johnny was the one to make the call. Throw in Frankie while you at it. This car for that car? Yeah. All right. Let's go get you a loan app. Oh, we don't need to do that. Yep, yeah, dude just wants to get out. Pass me the one to like you did all that and now you on the run bro should have just tried to work it out with fucking jake jake's just crazy man that's the problem too cops about to bust up in here it's getting there getting there yeah it's getting it's there. like a piece of bubble gum <laughs> dude's under a new level of fucking stress man i wonder what his Dad said, I mean, so that shit we saw at the start with his dad sitting down, you know, Bruce Willis was post all of this, man. It's tragic. This whole fucking thing is tragic. His death literally meant nothing, bro. Nothing came from it at all. You know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. I'm taking a walk. Albuquerque. Find out dude's going to run into Walt. Oh, yeah. Come get him. Oh shit. Damn, had he stayed there. This guy is acting fucking weird, dude. Talking about God and forgiveness, all kinds of Yeah, forgiveness after that. Turn around, we turn around again. Now he wants to go to Mexico. So we go all the way back down. We're oh, he went up to Canada. Nowhere to hide, man. He dipped out, so I ain't dealing with that shit. Don't blame him either. Fuck. Damn. Oh, so this is all based off a real story too, huh? Damn. Life sentence. Death row. This shit was back in 2006, though, so he's probably dead now. This him? Show enough. Completely different life. After five years on the FBI's most wanted list, was arrested, damn, in Paraguay. He's currently in California awaiting trial and if found guilty, faces the death penalty. 
Hey, and then it would tag nine. Damn, that's so interesting. So all this shit. I didn't realize it was all based off of off of real stuff that actually happened. What the fuck? Let's uh this was in 2006, so I'm assuming everything else is um has come out. Let me Well, first of all, Alpha Dog from 2006 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look this shit up. Let's see. Wait. Johnny disappears and is finally arrested in Paraguay in 2005 after five years of being on um, on the America's Most Wanted list. However, the real Johnny, aka Jesse James Hollywood, was arrested in Brazil. It says this movie is fairly accurate, like 95%. Wait, no way. He's still currently awaiting trial, facing investments. Jesse James Hollywood uh, was convicted July 8, 2009, for ordering the kidnapping and murder him and since it's a life in prison without the possibility of parole films based upon so i guess he didn't get the death sentence but he got life i feel like he should have got fucking he should have got the death penalty man like i mean i i i know elvis was the one who got the death penalty and he was the one to do it and shit but i don't know i feel like johnny deserved it too you could argue you could say frankie too like frankie you know they made you kind of like him and stuff in this movie because he was being nice to him and everything but at the end of the day he still played a part in the kidnapping he duct taped him and everything like that and yeah maybe he didn't you know fully think he was gonna kill him but it's like bro why else would you be duct taping him if you know you didn't think he was actually gonna go through with it right it's just like dude i watch it like when i started this i was like I, in my head i was I wasn't really thinking this was based off true events or anything like that so then to find out at the end it is which i mean that's part of the thing too like thrillers and stuff like that i kind of like thrillers and crime especially ones that are based on true stuff just like like prisoners was fantastic but it's not based on like any real stuff and then you have zodiac you know based on the zodiac killer and stuff it just adds a little bit more to it i feel like especially in the end and then you get to see what happened to each character and everything like that man i, I like movies like that same thing like with gridiron gang with the rock obviously um a little bit different than this but getting to see what happened to each person at the end and stuff like that man regardless great movie tragic as fuck sad that all this shit actually happened and his death literally meant nothing because at the end of the day he didn't get his money from jake and you know Jake never ended up going and killing him or finding him either. And it's just tough, dude. It's like Zach's death was completely avoidable. It's one of those tragic, tragic, tragic fucking things because nothing came of it, man. And it's like, dude, you could argue the other way. Like if they, they were just all fucking scared because of what they did, they're like, oh shit, it's too late. You know, he's going to tell this and that. If it comes out, we're doing life. It's like, bro, if you kill him, you're for sure doing life. At least this way, there's a chance, you know, maybe he covers and nothing comes out and then you just have to deal with Jake, right? It's just tough, bro. Regardless, fantastic stuff, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.